by the way, whether you're living in a rural or urban area, whether you're living in poverty or whether you're not. And there's so much more for us to do on health care. You know, you said that you don't deserve special privileges, but on health care, you've done everything that we've asked yeah. you to do. And we do not have, for the people that have survived in these battles, who would never have survived in prior battles, but have because our battlefield medicine, medicine is so much better. We are not prepared for them when they come home. We're not taking care of them when we come home. The addiction, the mental health issues that we all are all, all confronting are critical ones. You pointed to something very important, which is that the certifications that people get while they are in the service ought to be used by the, they, they should be able to use those certifications to get jobs in the private sector. And all over the country, not only can they not do that, but every state's licensing requirements are different. So that would be one thing that we could do to make sure people are back into the workforce more quickly. On the question of the wars, if I could just say, you know, if you're born, if you're 20 years old now, basically, you've never known a time when the United States wasn't at a war, in a war. If we're in Afghanistan two more years, we'll have been there for 20 years. And I was here, I had a great privilege to, to have debate and vote on the Iran uh, deal that President Obama put together, which for once, for once, was an attempt by Washington to actually to try to solve a problem, not go to war with it in the Middle East. And Donald Trump, by the way, I was up for re-election in a swing state when I voted for that. That was not an easy vote, but I was glad to cast the vote because it was the right thing to do. Donald Trump comes to office, and all the things we, th we hoped for about the deal but didn't know would be true turned out to be true. And Iran was more than a year away from breaking out to a nuclear weapon, and now he's ripped us away from that deal, and he's beginning to you know, pu put us in the position to have to go back there again, which would be an unbelievable tragedy. So I am very grateful for your advocacy for our vets and also for your observations about where we are in terms of our trajectory in these involvements in other countries. Can, can I ask you a quick question? You sure. uh, used to be the uh, superintendent of Denver Public Schools. I grew up in Denver in DPS schools myself. Where did uh, you go? Um, I went to Montbello High School, but I lived in the town of